to the World Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Taurus for the week starting the 31st of January to the 6th of February 2022. Okay, that was quick. Let's see. The full reversed. I wonder if the cards are all in reverse. Well, I can't tell about the other one. Oh my god, what's happening here? Okay, the full reversed. So you feel stuck. You want to start something new. Maybe you want to walk away from something or somebody. But you feel like you're trapped to this person. Maybe you're trying to make a plan to um, escape somebody. It could be an authority figure. It could be a boss. It could be a father. It could be a husband here. But you feel like you're trapped to this person. Hmm. It's very interesting because in the Aries reading, the second card I got was the King of Pentacles. Exactly in the same position. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries... Because you see the full reverse could be Aries. Two of Wands is Aries. King of Pentacles could be somebody who's on the cusp of Aries and Taurus, for example. So there's a, there's there could be an argument between you and this person. Maybe you are going to court with this person because uh, the Aries reading was talking about a Queen of Swords that was back to back with this King of Pentacles. Now we have the Knight of Swords in this position. So you may be going to um, court against an Aries specifically. Or um, an Aries could be watching uh, you divorcing somebody. An Aries could want to move forward with you, but you are in the middle of some kind of divorce. Also, maybe you are... Um, they were talking about the will in, the, in that reading. So maybe you're trying to um, take this Aries out of your will. Or somebody is trying to do this, I don't know, trying to convince you to take the Aries out of your will, to disown them. It could also be that you're a boss. Uh, you, you could be this person's boss also and somebody is trying to convince you to let that person go. Yeah, there could be like a mold. It could be somebody who is scorned, who could be envious of that Aries or there's some kind of issue here. So... Does this person have uh, anything to do with an Aries here? It could be connected. This Taurus reading could be connected to the Aries reading. Look at that. 63 or 36 could be significant. So maybe this King of Pentacles is born in 63. Also, you might be 36 years old. So either somebody's born in 1963 or somebody's 36 years old. This could be significant. Also, the third... Um, of June or the 6th of March could be significant. 3rd of June is in Gemini season. So there could be a Gemini here. There could be a two-faced person that's trying to drive a wedge between possibly a husband and um, some, I don't know, a husband and a wife or a man and the woman he loves or a boss and uh, somebody they work with. Um, a grandparent or a parent and a child, you know, somebody's trying to uh, cause conflict. And there could be a court situation here. With the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, this could talk about a work collaboration. There could be a group of three people working together, right? And one of these people has turned against another one. You know, they're trying to convince maybe their boss to let them go or something like that. There's some kind of issue here. Um, yeah, somebody's trying to create conflict from, for another person in front of a person of authority. So whether you're the person of authority and you have to make a decision to let somebody go because another person is uh, complaining about them, I don't know. But in the Aries reading, it was showing me that the Aries is going to be successful. They're going to get a favorable outcome. So I think the Aries is the good guy, so to speak, right? So there could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius who is against this Aries, trying to make them look bad. But it's just envy or it's something else. It's some kind of grudge. I don't think the person is a bad person, actually. Yeah, this is definitely about some kind of work collaboration. Look, 35. We had 36, now we have 35. That's very interesting. Somebody could be 35, another person could be 36. 
or you know what the king of pentacles is an older person and i had 63 first right so somebody could be born in 1963 they could be a boss right and there's another person who is 35 maybe it's this gemini here and the gemini is trying to convince this maybe you maybe you taurus to go against uh, an aries king of cups King of Cups could be some kind of healer or an artist here. Look, Queen of Cups also. Clarify the King of Cups. Who is this King of Cups? The King of Cups looks super sad. Like, I think it's the saddest card in the deck. When I was shuffling uh, the cards, when I was clearing the energy out before this reading, I the King of Cups flipped out. And it made, me, it made me think, wow, it looks so sad. It's like the saddest card in the deck. That's what it looks like. You see his face there. So somebody's very upset over what's happening here. They could feel betrayed by a friend. They could feel very um, heartbroken that a friend has turned against them. Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, King of Wands. Yeah, you see, he feels like he's left out in the cold by these two. These two are looking at him. And he feels like he's shunned, like he's uh, like he's the bad guy, right? Like he's defeated, like he's pointed at, you know? Again, this could be a healer with the King of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Or it could be somebody who is very abundant and creative, right? Okay. There's a, a lot of anxiety here. So the Aries reading was starting with the Nine of Swords. Somebody's very anxious over the situation. Ten of Cups. This could be a family situation, like I said, with the Ten of Cups here. It could also be a work environment. Seven of Pentacles. Uh, this could have to do with an inheritance here. From the family, somebody's anxious that they are being pushed away, pushed out of having this in inheritance. So somebody's trying to disown an Aries, that's what I'm getting here. And it could be the Taurus that is uh, the person who, who has the power or the money or the authority in this situation. Anything else? So Taurus, if this is your decision to make, what decision should you make? Holy Spirit, if Taurus has to make a decision about this... Aries or Pisces person or Scorpio person. <sighs> oh my god, not all this stuff. That's too much. Let's see. So we've got Eight of Wands. You might need to communicate something. Two of Swords, a decision. Communicate your decision to end something. Maybe a contract. Maybe with this Gemini. I don't know. Because <laughs> the Ten of Swords came on top of the Gemini. The Gemini could be a betrayer. Could be somebody who uh, is trying to cause problems for the Aries here. Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody's going to walk away. You have to end, terminate somebody's contract and they have to walk away. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. Forty-five could be significant. Somebody could be forty-five. Also, again, there's there's a conflict in, in whatever, in the house or in the institution where you work. Right? Four of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Ace of Cups. Nine of Cups. Ace of Wands. <sighs> So the fours are all about stability. We have three fours here. So you could be very concerned about your stability. Number four, right? Number four is also Aries or Taurus. It's the emperor energy. So I think you're going to make the right decision to reject the people who are trying to cause conflict and to heal a situation with the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Nineteen is the sun. There could be clarity in this situation. You might get clarity, you might have an epiphany, an aha moment this week. And um, you're going to you're gonna start something new. You're, again, you're going to make a decision, you're going to have some kind of inspiration to heal something. Three of Cups, and there's going to be a celebration. Things are going to be happy again. Maybe you're going to make these people get along. Maybe you can even make them get along again. I don't know. Can you make these people get along again? Can you make them have a, have peace here in this situation? 
Can you help these me mediate basically the situation somehow? Nine of Wands. You're the wounded soldier already with this situation. Six of Cups, Queen of Cups. Okay, so yeah. It's like you're going to offer some kind of solution, a healing to this situation. You're going to heal the situation. You're going to use your heart and your intuition and you're going to make the right decision. This could also be love. Like, if it's love, you might leave a situation that's not working for you and go towards the person you really love. So there. You're going to make the right choice. Okay, anything else? Should you give justice to the Aries if you're dealing with an Aries? Yes. See, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, and Six of Cups is like somebody offering flowers or offering some kind of beautiful gesture, emotional gesture to somebody. Queen of Wands to maybe an Aries, okay? Yeah, so the Aries is the good guy in the situation, whatever situation th this is, right? Okay, yes. Uh, there's going to be a fair and just outcome. This was the last card also in the um, Aries reading. So you're going to make the right decision in this situation, okay? You have options, right? So e whether you're a boss or you are, you're supposed to leave an inheritance for a family member or... If there's a separation in a relationship, you're going to make the best decision going forward. So, yeah, I hope this helps. Take care.